everyone. This American decided to visit the Vatican when the Pope was out of town. And on the Pope's desk, he noticed a gold telephone and was told by the Cardinal that it was a hotline to God. When asked if he could place a call, he was told it would set him back £10,000. Oh, he said, forget about it. But on his way back to the States, he decided to call at a parish in Kilkenny, where his ancestors came from. And on the parish priest's desk, he also noticed a gold telephone and was told it was also a hotline to God. When asked what a call would cost, he was told 50 pence. That's extraordinary, he said. The same call cost £10,000 in the Vatican. The parish priest responded, that's easily explained. You see, over here, it's a local call. <laughs> Christmas means that Christ becomes localised. He is our Emmanuel, God with us. And in some non-Christian religion, God cuts a very distant, remote figure. He is utterly transcendent, otherworldly. But the Christian God shares our human condition in order to save us. His reassuring words to Mary and Joseph are also addressed to us. Do not be afraid. I am with you. Now Jesus becomes localised in a very special way at Mass. He is present in the material elements of bread and wine and he comes to each of us personally in Holy Communion, making his home with us and in us. He wants us to return the compliment when he says, Make your home in me. <coughs> as I make mine in you. Now that's one of the main reasons, I think, why we come to Mass. But the question is, do we want him to be that close to us? If you remember on one occasion when he visited his hometown of Nazareth, Jesus was given a very cool reception by the people he might have expected more from. If we keep Jesus at bay, his loving plans for us might not be realised. When Adam and Eve fell from grace, they hid from God and the plan of God for the human race was frustrated. When people say that they don't believe in God, it could be that they just want to live their lives without reference to him. The Christian story tells us there is no, was no room at the inn for Mary and Joseph. Are there situations today where we distance ourselves from Jesus and his message. People rather facetiously say that the church should keep out of the bedroom, keep Jesus out of the bedroom, but you could add to that the classroom, the sick room, the boardroom, or any room for that matter. Have you noticed it's getting a lot harder to find Christmas cards with a religious theme these days? Now this is the slippery slope of removing Christ altogether from Christmas. But those who call themselves Christians must not allow this to happen. Now, one of the slogans associated with the Brexit debate, if you remember, is we want our country back. Don't you think us believers slogan, slightly altered, should be we want our Christianity back, our Catholicism back, or else, if we don't, it could slip through our fingers like quicksand. The Christian message proclaims loud and clear that the Son of God took on human nature and became one of us. We become his willing partners in spreading his kingdom of love and peace among our fellow humans. The Christian story never lets us forget this. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you all.